On January 6, 1977, Dolly Sinatra died in a plane crash. She was aboard a Gates Learjet 24, which had just taken off from Palm Springs Municipal Airport. Mrs. Sinatra was on her way to see her son, Frank Sinatra, in concert in Las Vegas. The plane crashed into the 10,000-foot ridge in the eastern portion of San Gorgonio Mountain. She was 80 years old. Retired Delta Airlines meteorologist Joe Luisi says Dolly Sinatra's doomed flight could have been avoided. And she was taking off uh, during the late afternoon, but she forgot a dress and it was, it was being cleaned at the cleaners. It was in Cathedral City, where the IMAX is right now. And what happened was uh, they had to wait two hours to get this dress. She waited, the airplane waited, and it became dark. It was January, and as you know, that sun goes behind that mountain very quickly, and it gets dark very quickly at around five o'clock. So uh, their departure was after dark, and that was part of the problem because there was a, a snowstorm going in the mountains. They could, really couldn't see it, and the airplane actually came within 200 feet of missing the mountain itself. They would have flown over it. If, if it was visible, if they were there two, three hours before, they would have seen it. But Dolly Sinatra's tragic flight wasn't the first plane to crash into Mount San Gorgonio, and it wouldn't be the last. On December 1st, 1952, a Douglas C-47 Dakota crashed into the eastern face of the mountain. The C-47 was en route from Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska to March Air Force Base in Riverside when it struck the mountain in the middle of a storm. The aircraft was last heard from at 9.51 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thirteen people died that night. Nearly a month after the C-47 accident, a Marine Corps Sikorsky H-19 helicopter crashed on the mountain in an attempt to recover the victims. The three crewmen of the helicopter crash survived, and most of the wreckage of both aircraft remain on the mountain to this day. Way back in the 1930s and 40s, it was very, very hard that they didn't have any all the instrumentation they have today. So they have to go on visual. And the peak right outside our doorstep here is 10,800 feet, Mount San Jacinto, and 11.5 is Sengagornio. And of course, the pass is in between. So uh, when they were uh, enshrouded with clouds and snow, and you know, snow capped and uh, wind, there's, there are weather issues. Oh, my small tribe. The mountain claimed another celebrity life almost exactly 10 years after it took the life of Dolly Sinatra. Dean Paul Martin, son of Dean Martin, slammed into Mount San Gorgonio on March 21, 1987. Martin was an Air National Guard pilot, and the McConnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II he was flying in disappeared into a snowstorm, and the wreckage was found on the mountain several days later. Dean Martin had a home here in Palm Springs, right in the Vista Las Palmas area, and he wanted that home because it was close to the golf course. He liked to get up early in the morning and go play golf. And they said that he, he just kind of became a recluse after his son's death. During the course of history, since aircraft started flying in here, we've had a problem with that during the early days with that instrumentation. And if you couldn't see the peak of San Gorgonio, there's, there there's going to be an issue. 